When looking for a process for RPA, essentially you're looking for a few characteristics. You're looking for a process that is rule-based, so it doesn't require a human judgment element to the way that work is conducted. If you have processes that have human element, judgment elements, then the process may still be suitable for RPA, but you'll need to hand out the work for that judgment to be made by an individual at key points and then pass back into the automation. Uh, you're also looking for processes which use digital structured input. Uh, you can combine RPA with AI tools in order to handle unstructured, but where RPA is considered, it needs to have a structure, both in terms of the input and the output. And once you've got those two elements, the rule-based and the structured data, essentially you're able to automate the processes. There are certain traits in a process that will make it uh, a stronger business case for RPA, such as you're looking for uh, high volume. Uh, it can handle high complexity, but the more complex the process, the bigger the implementation time and, and cost. Um, and also uh, really stable systems. Uh, depending on how you access the systems can also really have an impact on the business case. So if you have to interface with systems over a Citrix connection, then that means that you'll have a slower development and also a slower operation when it's in, in run. Um, so essentially if you're looking for the ideal processes, you're looking for the, the caveats of structured data, um, clear business rules, um, stable systems, uh, quick systems, uh, as you will have a higher efficiency on those, and high volume uh, of processes. Uh, but really to find where your best processes are, we advocate uh, undertaking uh, an assessment through, through following a future of work accelerator program that we, we put in place. So some examples of good processes for RPA have been around where you've got that structured digital input and output and those rule based. So really look at the, those processes where they exist within your business. We found them within payroll, um, within recruitment, uh, so for example vetting new employees or onboarding of employees. We found some in terms of financial services um, and banking industry where we're processing of mortgage applications, for example. And we've also come across many of them within a business process outsourcing context. Uh, so where companies have offshored work to a low-cost location, uh, which would be well suited for, um, uh, for that structured digital work.